All right, Wooski, how's it going? Man, what's the word, man? Hey, grinding, man. See, you You know, you've been doing your thing for a long time, man. You know, you've been quite a well-known person, man, in the Chicago drill scene. Hey, yeah, I'm getting it together out here. Yeah, I, I wanted to get into your whole story, get to know you a little bit better, man. Uh, you know... Uh, you know, you're so th such this well-known person. You've been around so long. You've been through so much. But yet it still feels like we have never really got that, like, get-to-know-Wooski interview. You know, so that's kind of what I'm going for here, man. You know, uh, you know, I really want to, you know, get into your childhood and, you know, kind of just get to know Wooski a little bit better, man. I got you. So, so if we can start off, man, you know, can you kind of paint that picture for me, what it was like for you growing up? It was, it was a lot for me growing up, but... Shit. I had to buy what I had to go through, man. What are some of your earliest memories? Oh, shit. Where's the first place you remember living? Shit. The first place I remember living is... On 73rd Street. Okay. How old were you when you were living there? Shit. I'm about seven, eight. You were seven, eight years old, okay. And uh and what was it like for you there, man? You know, did you have both your parents? What was your family life like? You know, I lost I lost my daddy when I was a when I was a kid. I was just me and my mom and my brothers. You lost your dad when you were a kid. Uh, you, do, you, do you know what like? Do you know what happened to him, or did he go to jail, or did he pass away? Yeah, he passed away. What well, was he killed in, from from the streets? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, how how old were you when that happened? Shit. Uh, I don't, I ain't gonna let you on, you know. I was a kid, though. So you don't have any memory of your dad at all? No, I had no. What are some things, like, people tell you about your dad? Shit. <laughs> it, was a, it was a lot of shit, but... You know, uh, it was too much, too much funny shit and a lot of. Was your dad known for being a street dude? Yeah. Okay. Now, now growing up, you know, at such a young age, man, just you, your mom, your brothers, your sisters, you know, um. You know, at some point, you know, I think, you know, everybody knows you moved to O Block. Yeah, I was living up when I was a little kid. Okay. Uh, at what age, what age were you over there at? Shit. Let's see. I was in there like around, around like four or five or something. Oh, okay, that young. Okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Let's see. Here. I got like six, seven brothers and four sisters. Seven brothers, four sisters. That's a big family, man. Were you guys all under one roof? It was six of us. Six of you guys under one roof. Man, that's a lot, man. So what are some of the good and bad times growing up for you guys? You know, it sounds like it was pretty rough. 
You know, we, we had a lot of, a lot of shit was going on. Okay, well, you know, living in O-Block, you know, everybody kind of knows this, man. You know, I interviewed Jay Hood. Sassy From O-Block. Sassy Yeah, he's a and clown. <laughs> We beat on preacher man too, and, and he told me a story about how when you guys were kids, that you threw rocks at his window until he came down to fight you. Me and Wooski fought. I, I, you and Wooski got in a fight. Yes, we fought. We was kids. We was kids. He threw a uh, he threw a ball. My nephew was just being born. My nephew's seventeen years old now. So this was seventeen years ago. 17 years ago in the summer. My nephew's probably a couple weeks old. Wooski was a bad, he was bad. That dude, all of us was bad, but he was a different bad. Like Shorty was crazy, for real. Like kind of like he's still crazy today. I remember him throwing a ball up at my window. And like I love, I'm a lover like man. And my nephew just got there. Like, I'm a die for my family, but I still was a kid anyway. I just remember like the screen. The screen ain't even probably weighed two pounds. Not even a pound, actually. And it fell on my nephew crate. And I was angry, bro. I went outside, bro, and me and Wooski was fighting for like 30 minutes. Then the nigga's throwing rocks at my crib. He's throwing rocks at my house just to get me to come out to fight him. That's how crazy he was. <laughs> Is there any truth to that? I don't know what the hell he talking about. Yeah, his ass wanted to talk. Okay, but you remember him from back then? Yeah. He's a fucking clown, man. Lord knows him. Now they stop trolling. I quit, man. And now y'all saw Flame knock his ass out. Put him down. <laughs> hey, Kev. What up, bro? You saw Flame knock his ass out. I I seen the video. I seen the video, yeah. I feel like they should have did more. <laughs> they should have oh, did more. Well, well, you're, you're living in old block, man. You know. <laughs> <laughs> And, you know, there's a lot going on there. I guess at some point you move out of O Block. And is this when you move to like STL 63rd area? Yeah, he always Shit. been in the mix with us. He went in the mix with them goof ass niggas. His mama just lived over there. <laughs> okay, so your, mo your mom lived in O Block. His mama yeah, just yeah, lived yeah. there. Oh, been okay, in the mix I see. With us since he was a toddler. In the first grade. Okay. It wasn't no, it wasn't no, oh yeah, Wooski, Wooski stayed in the, oh, and he was hanging in that bitch. Folks weren't hanging with they ass. They ass born. Tossing that bitch, slinging that bitch three times. Living in STL, man, you know, you got brothers in O-Block. I know you guys aren't kind of getting along. How, how are you, you know, what's it like going to see your mom? Shit. It was... The same shit. It was just motherfuckers just he just can't bring his homies nothing around me or shit. It is what it's gonna be. I mean, I would assume at some point you probably had to stop going there. You know, because I think things probably got so bad. You know, am I am I wrong about that? I'm, no, I no, you still went there even though even yeah, when she was wild. Okay. That's his big brother game. Like, motherfuckers lose. Motherfuckers really ain't thinking about that. You gotta really think about it. That's his mama's son game. They share the same old lady. They go home, eat the same fucking food. Ain't shit busting in this bitch. It might be some sneak dissing going on, but ain't nothing busting. And he don't have to bring his homie no more, cause we just gonna be on the ass like white on rice. On game. Was it weird for you? To have a brother from O Block, like, how did that affect your relationship? Shit. Shit, it really didn't. It didn't affect your relationship at all. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. That's dope. That's dope to hear, man. Are you guys still in contact today? Uh. 
Yeah, I'll be hell in them, but he locked up in some more shit. What age would you say you jumped off the porch? Oh. Man, man, that ain't even <laughs> that ain't even the question. I've been there his hours. Eight, nine, ten, seven? Shit. I was eight by seven. Seven years old. Man, that's young. What was going on at seven? Do you think that made you want to be in the streets like that at that young of an age? Yeah, it was a lot of, lot of, lot of shit going on. You ain't never been to the zoo, so you don't, you don't understand. You ain't never been to the zoo. They ain't never been to the deuce. Motherfuckers ain't never been to the deuce. gotta come like. 63rd, that experience hit different game. Just our home community, everything about our shit. We a different breed. Oh, um, well, look, we got King Op, Mr. Shit back in this bitch. He gonna be a great a legend forever. 63rd, great, great shit. For real. How many other kids your age were outside like you were? Shit, I ain't gonna say a lot. No, only a few. A few, only a couple. Okay. Well, you know, jumping in the streets, man, you know, you're going to go through a lot of stuff, you know, a lot of ups and downs. So, you know, uh, how? what age were you first arrested? Man, I ain't going to let you young here remember. Like 10, 12? Yeah, right on the yeah, right on the base. Do you remember? Do you remember what you first got arrested for? Yeah, no. Still a cop with the last two dudes. You had a group. What happened? No, nah, his ass wasn't talking over here. <laughs> <laughs> how, how many times have you been arrested in your life? Mm -hmm. Man, I can answer that question. A lot? I mean, I, I take it as a lot? A couple, I ain't gonna say a lot. What, what do you think was like the worst thing you were arrested for? Some bullshit. Did, did you beat the case? Yeah, yeah. Because I... I don't know if it's true, but I, I read that you were arrested at one point for a murder. Yeah. And you, you beat it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, how old were you when this happened? Oh, no. This happened. This happened like... I just got up for that shit like... Two, 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 three years ago. Oh, you just beat something two, three years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, so that wasn't even that long ago. That didn't even make the news. That's crazy. Okay. And uh, how did you beat it? Shit. Did you take it to trial or did, the, uh, tr did, the, did they get dropped? Shit, I suppose it went to trial, but... The witness was, the witness was in custody, and the um, the dude who who got shot, he. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to know about the dude. I was just asking about you know, the court proceedings. How long were you in jail? I was in there for like three years. You were in jail for three years, okay. What was that time like for you, man? Was I mean, I assume it was pretty stressful. You know, you're looking at a potential life sentence, 20, 30, 40 years at least, you know? Yeah, hell yeah, I was in there just looking at 58 years. Looking at 58 years, man, wow. And and uh, so the witness recants, I take it? He, he, ta he takes back his... Uh, Whatever he says. Wish. Or...
they couldn't really get him to testify against me because he was in there fighting a, a what some some type of felony type case. So they couldn't get him to testify against me. So they they canceled the um the trial date. Because they realized they couldn't use him to testify against me, and they just dropped the case. Mm. Okay, I bet that was a relief, man. You know, yeah, yeah. But, uh, three years you're in jail. You're you're facing. You said 50, 50 some odd years in jail, man. And you you beat this thing, and, and you get out of jail, man. You know, uh, you know how stressful was it? You know, being in there thinking about like, damn, man, I might be gone fifty years man 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 so, your mother head be blew out man that shit <laughs> that shit too much i can imagine man so so you get out man you know so what do you do with yourself when you get out of jail shit i ain't gonna lie to you i just smoke and drunk my motherfucking head out hell yeah nice party Nice party that night. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, nice party. You drop the shoes. So you came out. That was like one of the first things you did. You know? yeah, I'm gonna not drop the shoes. Yeah. <laughs> so you, so you came out, you drop the shoes. Being locked up so many times, man, in and out of Cook County Jail, you know, what's it like when you run into your ops in there? I see it. It's the same shit had is out here, but don't know they on beyond shit. They so, that's what they want to do. They want to talk and they trying to kick it. Mm. Is there any specific wild situations that stick out when you were in jail that you could talk about? Mm. Hell no. Nah. What was the most difficult part about being in jail? The most difficult part. Shit, there's a lot of difficult shit. Cause I ain't the one that's supposed to be in that mother. <laughs> <laughs> you know, man, you know, growing up, you know, a street dude and, you know, being in the streets and going through all this stuff, man, you know, uh, what age did your mom find out that you were in the streets? What is it she found out? That, that she was involved, you know what I'm saying? That she was active out there. Man, they've been, a lot of them have been going to run their mouth telling her she's been hearing all type of shit. Then I've been... Yeah, I'm steady catching gun cases and all type of bullshit. So she knew young, I take it. She knew early on. What was her reaction? Like, did she try to talk to you and, you know, try to steer you in the right direction? Yeah, hell yeah. But you weren't you weren't having it. You was you was <laughs> determined. Somebody, you weren't having it. I was chilling. What kind of student were you in school? That's a funny ass question, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny question. What type okay. of student you were in school? Shit. I was a cool student in school. <laughs> did, did you get good grades? Did you get bad grades? I'm getting both. Okay. You got good and bad grades, okay. Did you play sports? No, yeah. Okay, what'd you play? You know I'm playing basketball, all the other shit, some bullshit. Okay, shit, playing basketball, man. How, how young did you start playing basketball? Oh, shit. And I can't even remember when I started playing basketball. Young, five, ten, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. 
Somewhere around there? Yeah, I was like 10 or something. Okay, you start playing basketball. You got a passion for it. You know, you're probably pretty good. You know, you know, are you taking it serious? Are you, are you trying to go somewhere with, with playing basketball? Or are you just kind of just, it's just a hobby, you just for fun? I'm with the basketball. I ain't really played basketball in a little minute, but. Okay. Uh, you get to high school. And what's high school like for you? Man, high school, man, man. It's too much shit going on in high school. Did you drop out of high school? Hell uh, yeah. Yeah? Okay, well, what age did you drop out? Oh, I couldn't even tell you. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Ninth, tenth grade, tenth grade? Tell my ear. Okay. You know do you know why why'd you drop out? Do you know why? Or did you get kicked out? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, you got kicked out of school? Okay. Well what happened that got you kicked out? A lot of bullshit, gangbang and shit and Okay. Like some fights? Did you, was it some fights that got you got you expelled or yeah, some that worse? too. That too. That too, a lot of fights? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You so you drop out of school and what do you do with yourself at this point? Do you try to get a job or you just you just hanging with the homies? I was trying to get a job and get myself together out here, but but you know the motherfucker can't go and over see me coming to the job and see me working at a job, you know. It's... Yeah, it'd have been a pro it'd have been easy for them to track you down, I take it. <laughs> Did you ever get your G E D? Uh, hell no. You know, going through all this, man, do you ever suffer from any PTSD or anything? Yeah, no. Nah. No? At what age did you start rapping? Oh, shit. I was like 13, 14 when I first started rapping. Okay, that's pretty young, man. What what made you want to start rapping? Shit. I used to want to be a rapper. And I started putting shit together. And... Who were some rappers that inspired you? Like, who, who were you listening to back then? Oh, shit. Who I listen to then? Listen to Lil Wayne and Okay. Lil Wayne, your favorite rapper? I take it. Uh, he was. He was. Okay. Highly influential. Okay. I interviewed somebody, man, and they was telling me about a time when you and Vaughn got in a fight in front of O Block. And I wanted to get your side of that story. Oh, shit. That's a funny ass, old ass, goofy shit. When we walked in King Drive and they was standing right there and the police and shit pulled up and they they thought they was just gonna stand right there. We got the whip in their ass and shit. Me and him got the fight in the end. Some other motherfucker came and jumped in and the police came and broke the fight up. We all got up out of there. 
So you guys didn't even really get to like, you know, really fight, fight. You guys just kind of just went at it a little bit and then the police kind of broke it up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that the only time you guys got in a fight? Hell yeah. Okay. You know, because I, you know, I know you guys got a, uh, you know, kind, you guys kind of had like a rivalry going, you know, that it, it seemed a, uh, a little bit more personal between you guys. When I was doing the research, I seen that you guys had a lot of Twitter exchanges, you and Vaughn. Do you remember any of them? Not really. I just used to go up on the uh, treating their ass, and he just used to be replying, talking shit, man. I, I wanted to go. I'm going to read one to you, man. Uh, this is when you said, LOL, you going to fall as well. And then he replied, not before you, though. And then you replied, we going to see. <sighs> you know. I know what you're talking about. It's been kind of that 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 exchange between you guys has been pretty popular. You know, looking back on that, you know, what do you what you know? What's like the first thing that comes to your mind? You know, when, when you kind of hear those tweets and you know, what I'm saying you kind of relive that. Well, shit, I don't be doing shit but laughing at this shit and just. It's the, it's okay. that I should have knew what was gonna go on. At one point, Vaughn and your brother actually get arrested together. You know, what kind of what was that like for you at that time? You know, that's your brother. You know, you know what? What did you think when all that was going on? Man, I was thinking like he a stupid motherfucker, hang with dude, and he, man, he knew what. What's going on? I don't even know. Yeah. I mean, I think everybody kind of knows the story about, you know, King Von and your brother, man. So we don't we don't really got to go over it too much, man. But, you know, how much time is your brother still looking at? Shit. What did they say he finna be getting out real soon? In 2018, you drop computers. And that takes off crazy. You know, what was that like for you? Shit. Well, I ain't really know what that it was going to do all that shit, so I was just still acting like the same person. I was there. Were you surprised that it took off so much? Yeah, uh, yeah. Were, were you thinking like, damn, like, yo, I, I could do this music shit? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It seemed like like you didn't you didn't really go hard at the music stuff. How come you never went like just you know what I'm saying full throttle with the music? Shit, I ain't. Never even had a really place to really do the shit that really. Yeah. You know, you never had a place to do it? You mean you, you had you had trouble finding studios and everything to do it? Oh, uh, hell yeah. Damn, okay. But Duck is doing his thing too. Uh, yeah, he been. You know? Okay, I mean, because Duck, you know, he... Yeah, he been doing his thing for a while at that point. Yeah, he been snapping for yeah. a long ass time. Yeah, yeah. So that kind of slowed you down. Okay, well, how old were you when you met Duck? Do you remember? Hell yeah, no. I mean, like uh, elementary, junior high times? About elementary. Elementary. You guys knew each other since then. Okay. Uh, same with Butter, I take it? Hell yeah. Okay. Him and Tyquan was one of the dogs. We used to kick ass. But it's, still, but it's still there. Butter, what's your, what's your guys, you guys got a favorite memory together? Oh, man. 
Hell, y'all boy ain't out five five by seven around the woods. <laughs> Man, his ass be too good. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. I weigh myself, so I was playing with the pipe at the table. That bitch go off, hear myself. I'm the first grade. He get that boy, your ass tweaking on Tuga, boy. <laughs> your ass, as long as your head, is blue. He jump up, up XD on me. I'm dead. <laughs> I done pop myself. Fuck you, I'm dead. Blew me down with this motherfucker. <laughs> Each of us is black. I thought you just weighing me. Damn. What was your first reaction when that happened, Wooski? Man, 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 man. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man. Anybody get to the hospital? Yeah, yeah. My sister, I had to go to the hospital. Mm-hmm. Damn, I shot my balls off. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> oh, shit. Did you go to the hospital with him, Wooski? I take it? Hell no. Hell no. He grabbed the scraps and got the I had to get that. the bacon and get the f*** <laughs> <laughs> on <laughs> somewhere. Hell no. He got the f*** out of there. He go with a pipe tap, boy. Okay. Got a better than why I do fast. He said, you tripping. <laughs> I was high, the How long did the recovery take you? Like two weeks. So you, you know, you meet Butter, Duck, man, um Tuga. Just you know Tuga all them. Tuka. Tuga Tuga from they Tuga originally from their hood. So we was locked in with we was locked in with, with Wabno early on and we was locked in with them heavy, but when Tuga died. We were super locked in on first grade. We was, that was our, them was our little brothers. You feel me? Him, Taekwon, Lil Bubba. That was a lot of they little ass. Lil Bubba, all the ass, they ass. Crazy. Tuka's death kind of brought everybody together? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What was that like for you? Lose, was, that, was that the first time you lost the, the streets? Yeah, yeah. And how how do you think that affected you, man? Did that like uh you know, kind of make your heart cold, or you know what I'm saying? Did it you know what I'm saying have an effect, big effect on you? Oh yeah, hell yeah. You know, man. I mean, I but but that would that wouldn't be your last friend you'd lose to the streets. You know. Uh, oh, it is either. Fuck. Oh, folks, great. <laughs> That's what Tuka died in eleven, and they has died that same year. So, and we only had one dead home. Folks, great. Get back, got a lot of get back to do. Going through all that, you know, you know, did it change you? Like how, or should I should say, how much did it change you? Man, it changed me a lot, though, but. We just be out here changing the street trash now, man. <laughs> At one point, you know, Dusky gets killed. And you and Dusky were really close. You know how did that you know how did that affect you, man? How'd you how'd you hear about that when that happened? Oh, shit my f- called me. Okay. You know, do you have a favorite memory with Dusky you can share? <laughs> no. Yeah. no? Okay. Man, Dooski asses. They, Dooski and Wooski be together. That shit was be crazy. They can't talk about that shit. How did you get your name, Wooski? I think that's my name. My first dog called me that shit when I was a shorty. Did it come from your family, or, or was it like a, a homie friend? Your friends named you that? I ain't going to say one of my friends named me that, but I made the ass start calling me that. Oh, you made them start calling you that. Okay, you didn't want to be called by your real name no more. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. What? Why'd you pick Wooski? Like, where? Like, where'd the name come from? I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> no idea. You just, you just made it. Just came there and it just was like I fuck with this shit. Okay. Because it sounds like you know Dooski Wooski. You know what I'm saying? Was there any relationship to the names or anything, or was it just? Kind of luck that you guys were homies and had similar names? Yeah, yeah. You know, Duck, man, you know, you, you know, you talked about that you met him early on, man, you know. You know, what was it like seeing Duck come up, you know, doing music, man? You know, he, he, you know, he became the biggest, you know, face and name out of your area doing this music, man. You know what, you know, what was that like for you seeing that? I mean, shit. Oh, good. It was good seeing folks do what he's supposed to do. Uh, yeah, the uh, slide dropped. Huge hit. You yeah. know, shit, man. What what was that time like for you guys, man? I bet you guys was partying. Oh, we was, man. Look, that shit, man. <clears throat> We were too turned on now. Yeah, I hear that, man. You know, what's your favorite memory with Duck, man? You know, like like just hanging out. You know, like you know, a Friday night if you guys are hanging out. Shit, partying, kicking it. Okay, you know, is there like a particular party that sticks out that? You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, this was like probably one of the best parties I went to with Duck. Oh, shit. He could kill the party. We ain't been one in a many, many places. But yeah, it's a couple of, we well, ain't gonna say it's a couple, it's a lot of them up. Okay, none, none of them, none of them sticks out that, that you could talk about, or you know what I'm saying, like, you know, the best. What was the best party you guys had together? The pool party. That bitch decent. And then the pool party. Yeah, first cow, then we had a pool. Last, it's super. I can't swim. Oh yeah, when we threw the cameraman in the pool, this shit. <laughs> You guys do the cameraman in the pool? Hell yeah. Well, what do he do? Man, losing this motherfucker head out there. Did he film some shit he wasn't supposed to film? Man. <laughs> his ass be tripping. We had to slap his ass upside his head a couple times. <laughs> you know that. Okay, okay. Doug, you know, being, you know, the most known rapper, you know what I'm saying, from you guys' area, man, you know, really just putting it down, man. You know, how, how did you first get the news that he passed away? That was that we was at. I was at my homie Young crib. My called us. They called us like six, seven in the morning was what they was telling us, but they ain't really, they weren't really telling us what was going on. They just saying something happened to folks, and we trying to get in touch with them. Then the motherfucker told us what was going on. You know, I, I tell you, when you first heard about it, he was, you, you thought he was still alive. Yeah. He was still gonna make it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, and then and I tell you, you get the call that, that says he didn't make it, man. You know, uh, you know, how'd you feel when you first got that call? I ain't gonna lie, one feel what? Yeah. Uh, did you head to the hospital? Did you go down there? Hey, hey, yeah, yeah. All right, uh, shit, you get to the hospital, man, you know, they give you the bad news, you know. Um, you know, what was the environment like down there at the hospital when you got down there? Man, it was... Mm, yeah, really, nothing, really. 
were you surprised about where it happened at? Oh yeah, yeah. Because you know, if if, if from what I've learned, it's like equivalent to like the Rodeo Drive of Chicago. You know, which is like a really high class area. I'm not from Chicago, man. How how likely is it for somebody to be killed in that particular area? Shit, they don't really shit even be happening now, uh, down there. What's one of the things that you miss the most about Duck? <laughs> Oh, type is his tweaking asses to be on. Uh... Was was Duck like a fun a fun dude to be around? Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. You know what do you think was like? What what do you think that it was that kind of made you and him so close? You know what I'm saying? Like, what you guys have in common that kind of like brought you guys together? Shit. I can put it. Like shit. I man, how man was set up, shit. I man made. How we be trying to put all this shit together and see what we're gonna turn it to be. Okay. Well, Duck was always uh, trying to figure things out, trying to do bigger and better things. Yeah, hey, hey, yeah. Just recently, I interviewed Butter, man, and he said the duck was kind of like, he was like the glue for you guys. Like, he was the one that kind of kept everything together. Yeah, yeah. How did things change, you know, from your perspective when he passed away? Shit, really, them motherfuckers just, really just slowed down and just, Getting back on their shit in their own little lane. So kind of everybody's kind of doing their own thing more, more than together like it used to be? Hey, hey, yeah. Well, man, rest in peace, Duck, man. You know, I definitely, you know what I'm saying, fucked with his music. You know, I wish I could have got an opportunity to interview him. You yeah, know. Hey, yeah. So, so definitely, man, rest in peace to Duck, man, for sure. I seen a video one time, a while back, and I couldn't really tell if it was you or not, but the caption said it was you. And they said you got jumped at Dave & Buster's. Oh, shit. I don't know what the f*** you talking about, but, yeah. So you didn't, you didn't, you never got jumped at Dave & Buster's? No, nah, hell no, nah, man. Well, you know, recently, You've been shouted out by NBA Youngboy not too long ago. One of the biggest dudes in hip hop, man. You know, shit. Damn, pretty much the king of YouTube. You know, kills it with the views, man. You know, has shouted you out, man. I, I think he said, Bumpin' Wooski turned up with some groupies. You know, wh what'd you think, man, when you heard that? Shit. Yeah, I was fucking with it. It was a nice little thing he put together. Were you surprised that he shouted you out like that? Hey, One of the hey, biggest hey. rappers right now, man. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's a huge compliment, man. Have you guys kind of had any contact? Have you guys talked? Have you guys been on the phone or anything? Yeah, yeah, hey, hey, yeah. I'm trying to put something together with him. That would be dope, man. You know what I'm saying? I think, uh, yeah, you and NBA young boy, yeah, I'm with it. You know, what do you think about all his beefs and everything he's got going on? Shit, that's little shit. How do you feel about all the documentaries being made about, I mean, it started with uh, Chicago Scene. I believe he made a whole bunch of documentaries. I know you've had some documentaries made about you. You know, how do you, how do you feel about these documentaries in general? Man, they just be running their f***ing mouth saying anything. They just be running their mouth saying, so you don't think there's uh, any, any, none of the stuff in the documentaries are factual at all? Hell no. Hmm, 
Okay. I mean, you're, you're the first person to say that, you know. Usually when I ask people about these documentaries, they say that, uh, you know, they about half right is what they what, what most other people say. But okay, well, I'm sure you heard about the King Von documentary where he's alleged to have had 11 bodies. You know, uh, what do you think about that? You know, what was your reaction when you when you seen the title? Uh, he was clown. Did you watch the documentary? Hell no. You didn't watch it, okay? Have you ever watched any of the? Have you ever watched the documentaries about yourself? Yeah, yeah. And 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 you found they weren't accurate at all. Yeah, yeah. Okay. One of the dudes who's always making some noise, man, and you know he's he's always. You know, he's always dissing gangsters, man. You know, he's always dissing the Crips. He's always dissing the Bloods, the GDs, the BDs. You know, he's kind of, you know, gone pretty popular these past couple years, man. And that's Charleston White. You know, man, I, I he you had some... Goofy, man. Next question, man. Next question. <laughs> that's a <laughs> clown, man. Well, I seen you walk out of an interview recently. What what happened with that? Oh, she you, you just okay you just didn't want to do the interview no she it just happened i just she king von has, has said quite a few lyrics about you in his music man you know you guys have had this rivalry you know what i'm saying what a you know, what, what do you think when you hear his songs and him name dropping you and everything? Man. That's, that's a fuck. I don't. That should be funny to me. One of the biggest ones is where he mentions, you know, your shooting in, in, in his song, uh, Grandson for President. What do you think when you first heard that song? Man, I'm thinking, man. Yeah, man. Too, too much shit that, that was going on. Uh, he mentioned me his songs. Yeah, listen to it. What all are you working on now? Shit. A lot of shit. You got music coming up? Hell yeah. Okay. Anything dropping soon? Hell yeah. Okay. How soon? Can you give a preview? Like, what's the name of the what's the name of the next video? The name of my next video is gonna go out. Do it to him. Okay. You already got it filmed and recorded, or you still got to film it? I got to film it. Okay. You got a tape coming. You got an album coming soon. Working on the hell, yeah. You're working on tape, okay. That's what's up, man. Well, well, Wooski, man. I appreciate your time. Uh, you know, uh, dope interview, man. You know, I, I definitely think uh, this is going to be your best interview. We definitely talked about, you know, quite a bit. Quite a bit of stuff, man. You know, man, I appreciate you, man. No, I ain't better up. Good luck, man. For sure. For sure, man. Good luck with everything, man. All right. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.